Georgia Tech got this look last year uh, from one of their opponents, and even though I know the first thing you're probably going to say is, is how great midline is a play against it, your offense is the triple option offense. So this is how you would run it in this situation. And I'll preface it by saying I don't cover this situation at camps because until I have a client that tells me they've seen it, I'm not going to go through it at a camp. However, if you ever did get this look, this is what you would do. So, triple to the right. The action key starts at a three. So, if the guard's uncovered, the call defaults to the center. But now, if the center's uncovered, the call would default to the backside guard. And if he was uncovered, the call would default to the backside tackle. So, so if the action key was a four-eye on the backside, the tackle would make a back-back-back call. The guard would get his left knee through the crotch, left hand to the center, to the stomach, toes go north. Tackle would get his right knee to the crotch, right hand to the stomach, toes go north. So the action key is all the way over there. Yes, there was a team that actually did this against Georgia Tech last year. A back call tells the guard to step with his inside foot, and he's got the mic to the free safety. It tells the tackle to veer outside, and he's got the mic. If the guard cancels the mic, he would then have the free safety. It tells the center that on a back call that he's got essentially the backside A gap. So he's going to step with his left foot first, get his left knee through the crotch of the wheel, left hand to the stomach, toes go north. That's what would happen if you had the action key was all the way at a four eye. And once again, a team actually ran this against Georgia Tech last year. Now, the A back has number three. So he'll take his three flat steps, step at 45 degrees, and he's going to get... He's either going to kick or log at number three. The receiver is going to take his three flat steps, step at 45 degrees, and he's going to kick or log number four. Now, if three and four were stacked and this guy went inside and this guy went outside, the receiver would block the wide guy and the A-back would turn up inside of that because that would be a 3-4 exchange. You could also call it a 4-3 exchange if the exchange spot, so it's theoretically a 4-3 exchange. Backside receiver cuts off. The quarterback takes the snap, jumps in the gap, points the ball. It's the B-back's ball unless number one cancels the B, and I sure as heck hope number one's canceling the B, because there's a lot of green grass in between the two four eyes. And if that's the case, the quarterback reseats the ball, steps with his play side foot, replaces number one and scores, and if number two can tackle him, the quarterback will hit the brakes and he'll flick the ball across his peck to the A-back coming around. The cadence is down, ready, sit hot. The A-back hammers on the line, ready, takes two diagonal steps and turns up for the outside hip of the receiver to catch the pitch, hit the seam, and score. So, that's triple versus a 4-2 if they give you two four eyes. So if you ever saw it, that's the progression of how it would go because the action key is all the way over there. So you can bet your tail that number one is going to be taking the B back and they're going to try to get you on the corner. Yeah. So anyway, good luck with that defense. All right, coaches, if you're looking to install the triple option offense the right way the first time, the Army, Navy, Paul Johnson way, go to tripleoptionfootball.com slash academy, tripleoptionfootball.com slash academy, and then give me a call at 570-332-0265, 570 570- 3320265, the Triple Option Football Academy teaches you to the number Army and Navy's offense as they run it in real time. So you're going to learn how they do it and what they're actually running the most so you can apply it and you can survive, thrive, and advance in 2019 and beyond. Talk soon.